we're not in sunny Southern California anymore. We are, I gotta get out, it's snowing pretty bad on me. We are in uh, the Chicago area, uh, staying with some friends uh, right by this church right here. And uh, it's snowing pretty good. Oh boy. What's up everybody? OGP back with you for another video. Ooh, today I'm in soggy grounds, very soggy grounds uh, here in the Chicago area and uh, I thought I would stop by this place. A movie that I, I think pretty much all of us are fans of or have enjoyed at least one point or another in our life. The Home Alone House right here. Uh, imagine Macaulay Culkin uh, right there, maybe Joe Pesci and uh, what's his name, the other homeboy like slipping on the on the ice and stuff trying to get in there and do their things to them but uh anyways there it is the home alone house uh we thought we'd stop by here and just just check it out and it's kind of cool on the map um it has like a location that says a home alone house and uh the the fence when we pulled up there was a car that kind of like was trying to drive in the driveway or pulled up like they were going in the driveway and even on the fence in the driveway there's a sign that says like don't touch the fence like and I get it uh, you know you figure people are gonna be disrespectful um, you know you're a fan of the movie why would you come and be disrespectful but uh, people can be that way sometimes it sits closer to the street than I kind of imagine I guess the movie made it just look a little bit further back or something but yeah, here's a street right here you know it's not that far away there's a driveway but you see here Please do not touch the gate. Thank you. And, uh, you know, got to respect that. So most of you probably know I'm a big fan of checking out movie locations because I'm a big movie fan. With that being said, we're going to go check out a record store or two, The Exchange, and uh, I forget the name of the other one. But it looks like they're really close to each other. going to go check those out right now. Here I am, noisy traffic and all, at... The Exchange, records, movies, video games, all the good stuff, right over there. It's kind of a cool street here. Lots of stores, different kinds of shops, but a very busy street. There it is, The Exchange, going on in. Hello. Walking in the door, I noticed, well, one, the music, so we're muted and we're doing a voiceover, but there's a lot of glass and uh, that just, it makes it tough to look at movies, pick them up and like you want to see the condition uh, or read the back, you know, if, if it's something you haven't heard of, but everything is behind glass and they did have nice organization. That first uh, cabinet there was the horror DVDs and um, then over to the left here is the horror roar blu-rays in alphabetical order and um, they had the price right there at the bottom so you could see what everything was but uh, it, it's just it's kind of tough when you can't pick them up and look at them uh, I, yeah I don't know I just it's it's a preference of mine Walmart does this puts it behind glass and that kind of drives me nuts you know, and, and I mean, if they have a lot of crime, a lot of theft, you know, they don't have enough eyeballs in the store to keep an eye on everybody. I understand. Um, but it's just, it's kind of frustrating as a shopper to be able to, you know, not be able to just pick them up and look at them. But 
a fairly decent selection. Not the biggest selection here. Um, you know, they did have uh, uh, quite a few horror movies. Most of these I did have. Uh, or, you know, I was kind of waiting for maybe like a 4K or something. But uh, this Nintendo section over here was pretty nice. Uh, quite a good variety of uh, cartridge-based games here. Um, and, and they seem to be fairly priced or equivalently like priced with what's on eBay. So... I, I'm not really in the market unless there was something I was like, oh, yeah, I really want this. But I haven't even thought about cartridge based games or video games in so long that there was nothing on my mind that I was like, oh, I need to get this or that. Uh, and this is funny. Fluffy used to give me shit for labeling the end of my uh, N64 cases. But uh, look at that. Look at that fluff right there. So you could see what they are and how much they are. It's cold out here. I had to uh, double up on the jacket, go with the heavy duty. Yeah, <laughs> my face is freezing. I don't know what the temperature is. This weekend is supposed to be like zero or something. But hopefully we're out of here by then. We'll be on the way home Saturday, a couple days from now. But we should be getting close to the second store here. Any second now. Look, you got tacos, but but it's Taco Bell. They trick you into thinking it's like really like good tacos. Over here, Devil Dogs. That's kind of a cool name. Like, especially for being a Marine. Doesn't look like it has anything to do with Marines at all, but and here it is. Reckless Records. Go check this place out, yeah. New arrivals. And they got a VHS section. Nemesis. Ha! Huh. Man, Tuber, too bad Albert passed away last year. Look at that, originally 95 bucks. Wow. Would be cool to get Albert to sign that. Oh, only 6.95. Yeah, that's a that's an awesome find right there. Castle of the Creeping Flesh. That's pretty cool. Uh, if I was into collecting VHS, might pick that up. Beast from Haunted Cave. Here we go. Cult movies. Duck. The Carbine High Massacre. Oh, that seems kind of messed up. Joe Bob Briggs. Oh. Please don't eat my mother. Oh, 40 bucks. Wow. Must be pretty rare to be 40 bucks, but it's funny. But I'm not spending 40 bucks. Lady Terminator. Oh my god, no way. And here's the horror section. Starting a little feast. Friday the 13th, Frankenstein. Fury, get out. A lot of common titles here. Henry, it's a good one. House, house two. What's this? Dismember Mama. <laughs> and it does not look so great. And just like that, we are out of Reckless Records. Two items here that I picked up. Uh, Lady Terminator, which is hysterical. Uh, Fat Samurai guy uh, was showing me parts of that. Can't remember if I watched the whole thing or not yet, but hilarious. And then uh, Shadow Zone, which is cool. The guy inside there was actually telling me that it's one of his favorite full moon movies. So that's kind of cool. So those are the two that I bought. I don't know, like 12, 13 bucks a piece. And then uh, got this free Reckless Records sticker. Though throw on the wall behind me there uh, when I'm doing my live streams but here we are out of here where the adventure will take us next I don't know well here I am now at the corner of Plymouth and Van Buren like downtown Chicago here and I thought I would come and check out the location of Jake and Elwood's apartment from Blues Brothers which used to be right over there uh, but it's now a park it was torn down 
and right over there would have been the building uh, and then now you know you got the the tracks like the train tracks that go right above it that would have been so noisy right in his window and last time I was here I want to see the building was still there last time I was here but it's definitely not there now uh, the research I've done even says that they tore it down didn't stand the test of time so unfortunately it's not there anymore but that's where it would have been Jake and Elwood's apartment and what trip to Chicago would be complete without a trip to the fountain from which really what we care about the married with children fountain I'm sure it's in other things and it's a famous fountain but for us it's all about married with children right there in the park it's freezing ass cold right now the iconic fountain you see at the beginning of married with children with the great view of Chicago skyline around here it's a pretty cool park but it is <laughs> right on the edge of the lake and it is freezing ass cold I don't know what the temperature is but wow is it cold it's about four o'clock in the afternoon and uh, yeah, it just hurts being out here so we're not gonna stay long but uh, you, you figure because the water would freeze there's no water in the fountain this time of year which is understandable the ducks don't get it though they're kind of pissed I wouldn't like they're probably better off like ducks it's, water's gonna be cold right now but I guess ducks can deal with it but there it is married with children now um, I think we'll stop in to a Best Buy I've been hearing all the news about Best Buy pulling their movies off the shelves let's go check this out we're uh, just outside of downtown still really in the heart of Chicago but just like beyond where all the big buildings are uh, kind of heading back toward where we're staying but uh thought I'd get off the freeway I saw a Best Buy let's check it out there it is empty shelves what not all empty not all empty we got some stuff going on over here uh, oh that's what I need to get right there Morbius right I picked that up uh, let's see here do, 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 do. Yellowstone I, I don't I would never need to buy these but I've seen this one it was pretty good um, seen Yellowstone the first four seasons and then uh, 1923 I've not watched that at all yet but Harrison Ford I'm definitely gonna be checking that out at some point last of us everybody keeps saying that's good too but I haven't watched that yet still need to check that out <sighs> Elvis is good I, I like this movie but again like I, I don't know if it was like 10 bucks I'll probably buy it I don't know if I need to spend that kind of money that's kind of a cool case right there Friday the 13th limited 4k 25 bucks eh. there's a reason you're not selling your movies they're too damn expensive Googles. smile definitely it was okay but definitely don't need to buy that especially not for $20 I'm kind of looking forward to the second one though to see if they figure out how to end it because the first one just felt like it didn't have an ending uh, Blues Brothers here we go in Chicago right here should I pick up a copy of Blues Brothers I could probably get it anywhere and 4k I don't know I have to look and see I had to check my thing to see if I have Blues Brothers and 4k it was pretty cool to go go to there where the apartment was Joker, knock at the cabin, midway. A bloody Valentine, $33. Nefarious. This was actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. The ending was a little wonky. Liked it. Um, probably rather get a 4K if they have it. But uh, so I think I'm gonna hold off on that. It's nothing I need right now. Schindler's List, Saul, Night of the Demons, Nightbreed see here I think if you're getting rid of your movies you would 
discount them more, right? Would you like cut the price? Terrifier 2. Yeah. 20 really? Really? $28? Really? Come on now. Boogeyman. I did not like that movie. I mean it was it was like okay, but uh it kind of pissed me off. Saw that in theater in Denver earlier. Well, I guess last year now. Covenant was pretty good. Like that. Pope's Exorcist was pretty good. I mean, here you go. Home Alone. Uh, one and two. Um, I already got them. Don't need them. But again, pretty cool to go to that house where they filmed it. Right there. Let's see. Oh, there's the house right back there. Kind of see it back behind Macaulay. Now look at this though. These stands out here with their new movies. Desolate. Sadness. The end of an era. What are you going to do? I did stumble across one new release bin right here. Sound of Freedom. That was good. The Nun 2. Shazam, Two Guns, Haunting in Venice. Yeah. Still a lot of emptiness right there. Shazam, Violent Night. Exorcist Believer, 31 bucks. Man. WandaVision, Equalizer 3. Oh, is that 4K Steelbook? Is that in the right spot? Equalizer 3. Three, what? Okay, you know what? $17.99, you serious? Just walked out of Best Buy with Equalizer 3 in hand. Steelbook, $17.99. It's not a bad price for this Steelbook. Um, I know, like, some people have complained about this movie, but, um, and it's not the best of the franchise, but I love the Equalizer movies. I, I enjoyed this one. I have no issues with this one at all. Uh, so I'm very happy to be able to pick this up 4K. Steelbook for $17.99. Now, with that being said, moving on. Wherever we go next in this video, I'm not sure. We'll go somewhere, but uh, not Best Buy. Not anymore. Well, the Chicago trip was going along pretty nicely, and uh, this happened. Lots and lots and lots of snow. Look at the, look how tall. That was, that was, there was no, there was like, I mean, a little layer, a little tiny frosting on that table when we got here. Uh, now that's, I mean, that's, that's a good foot of snow right there, but, uh, and there's train going by right there, pretty close to train tracks here, obviously, but, uh, we're heading out now. We didn't get to do some of the things we wanted to do because of the weather. We knew it was going to snow Tuesday, but, uh, Friday storm kind of snuck up on us. What are you going to do? But thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And um, if not, I don't know what to tell you. But thanks for watching, everybody. I got to go home now and uh, check up on my daughter, see how her Navy career is going, man. So proud of her. So excited for her future. And uh, can't wait to see what adventures the Navy brings her. For you guys, have a good one, everybody. Stay warm if you're in an area like this. And we'll see you soon.